I'm currently working on the JungleDB. So uh, this is basically a database layer we built and that we will use to have a unified API in both uh, our browser clients and the Node.js clients. Yes, so um, obviously it, it has to solve some problems, otherwise we won't do it. And the thing is, currently in the browser we use the index DB and in, on the uh, Node.js level we use the level DB. And they both have first different interfaces and we would like to have a unified code base so everything looks similar for both clients. And there are other properties we would like to have for the databases. And IndexDB and LevelDB, they have both different properties. For example, the LevelDB does not support secondary indices per se, and the IndexDB, it can handle that. And so we would like to unify that and have the same set of features in both, and we also need to extend it, for example, with things like read isolation. I started working on it uh, six days ago and I'm almost, or well, actually I am finished now with the basic code base, but now comes the next stage, we need to test everything. So finding bugs in the current code or ensuring that there are no bugs in it, because of course it's critical. This database has to store the black blockchain and if you resync and so on and something is missing or something is broken, it could break your client and it could cannot reach the consensus, for example. The project is organized in the same way as the main core project. So we have generic classes which cover the generic features of both uh, the database for the Node.js clients and the browser clients. And we also have specialized classes, which, for example, for the browser, encode the interface to the IndexedDB. And for the Node.js client, they encode the interface to the LevelDB and they also introduce new features like those secondary indices on the LevelDB. So typically, you know, like a couple of years ago, there wasn't even a way for websites to store data on your computer because this would not something be that website to websites typically do. But you know, uh, after some time, so more features were added to actually enable websites to store st stuff on, on your machine. But uh, you know, it all started with cookies. I think this was like the first thing that you can store, and then the code was local storage, and then there's IndexedDB, which are like more advanced browser features for websites to kind of store something on your machine. And, um, well, this is maybe also just my personal opinion, but um, the way that especially this index DB is designed, so the way that you're supposed to use it as a developer, it's actually really painful. It's super painful that the, the APIs are, uh, some, some features are actually, you know, unusable, as in, it, it, well, at least in our use case, or you would have to, like, restructure your code in a way that would really suck. And the, the database layer that, that Pascal built also abstracts away from all these ugly, from all this ugly API and exposes two different sets of databases via this unified interface and takes out all the, you know, the sucky, it hides all the sucky parts underneath.